Hey team, you're on the Wilson Combat Channel, where we hope you'll subscribe and ring the notification bell. That'll let you be among the first to see new content when it becomes available. My name is Masad Ayub, and I'm here with Guy Jubert at Wilson Combat. The P365 from SIG has been a hugely popular gun, literally a game changer. And the Wilson Combat modifications have become amazingly popular. They are continuing to evolve, and I'm here today to ask Guy, what is the latest and greatest in P365 goodness from Wilson Combat? We've done the previous modules, the standard size and the XL modules. Uh, the standard takes the 10 round magazines and the XLs take the 12 round magazines and you can put those on the XL models, the X model or the standard model, um, depending on how you wanna set your gun up. Then SIG came out with the X macro, which is a larger grip, 17 round magazine that fits flush in the gun. Um, takes the same top end length as the, the slide length as the XL. Uh, most of them are ported on the end of the slide and it's the, the standard size barrel. It's kind of a unique configuration, but really a great gun and it's kind of taken the market by storm. And by demand, people have asked us, you know, hey, when are you guys gonna do a macro module? Well, that time has come. We did a direct replacement for the macro module that has the 1913 rail that is seen on the the factory macro from from sig and then we also did a a modified version that has the shorter dust cover that is seen on the all the other sizes of 365 that sig has done in the past and comes with the the slotted dust cover for um, all the other lights that are out there on the market for any of the previous models of 365. So SIG did put out a great gun with the X macro, um, but some of the things that were concerning with customers is when they bought those, the holsters that they had wouldn't fit because of the change of the dust cover, adding the 1913 rail. Some of the lights that they had already purchased to put on their other 365 models wouldn't fit on the, the macro. The other thing that was kind of big was there was a lot of standard size and X size guns out there that you couldn't swap those top ends onto the macro module because of the extended dust cover that hadn't typically been seen in any 365s at that point. So the three things that this version of the macro module with the shorter dust cover allows a customer to do is is continue that modularity mindset that is associated with sig p320 sig p365s and you can put your x or standard top ends on this size because of the shortened dust cover you can also use the weapon light if you light laser if you've already purchased one of those that wouldn't go on the the standard macro you can put that on your, your macro module, and then all the holsters that you previously purchased for XLs, Xs, standard sizes, this module will also fit in those, and we can demonstrate that by simply showing you this is the Milt Sparks 365 holster that we sell here at Wilson Combat, and as you can see, you've got that full grip, 17 round flush fit magazine, drops into the same holster that you may already own. And the Kydex, same thing, snaps right in, comes right out. The, the one thing that I would suggest is if your Kydex holster doesn't have tensioner screws, you might have some issues if it's just a straight mold because we did have to go with the little bit thicker trigger guard that is seen on uh, SIG's X macro modules um, to accommodate the 1913 rail um, on this variation of the module. So if you have a, a straight molded Kydex holster, you might have a little issues. Leather's a little bit more forgiving because it'll expand, but most holsters that are out there are going to be able to accommodate this module if you already own that for your 365 XL, your 365 X, or your standard 365. So this one, I think is gonna be pretty popular with people that already have guns. And again, this one is a straight replacement for the macro that SIG's put out. And then you could also use that one with an XL top end. Again, the dust cover is gonna be 
a little bit too long to run your, your shorter top ends that are found on the standard size in the X models. You've apparently uh, worked a deal with our friend Bruce Gray at Gray Guns. Uh, tell us about the, uh, the option of that wonderful Grey Guns Trigger. Yes, uh, the Grey Guns Trigger is an upgrade that we offer for our 365s and all of our models on, the, on these collaboration guns that we've done with SIG. You do have the option to get that Grey Guns Trigger. It does, as you just mm -hmm. could tell, uh, does change the game quite a bit. The geometry of the trigger is unique. It's different than the, the, the curved standard factory trigger from SIG and even the X triggers that are a flat face. It requires less take up, less reset, and uh, because of the geometry, the felt weight and, and the actual true weight, if you get you know trigger weights out and measure it, it does reduce that weight. Um, it does have a set screw on the back side of the trigger back in here that you can adjust uh, also to whatever your liking is on your, your travel. Um, but great little triggers, uh, the, the design and the geometry and the research that they did to, to put into these was amazing and they've been a good upgrade option for us. A lot of these collaboration guns go out the door with that already in it. Um, we do sell the triggers uh, retail also if you want to attempt to put it in on your own. These things are fairly easy to tinker with at home, but uh, the, the 365s, because of the, the smaller size that they are, the parts are smaller. So it's a little bit more difficult and uh, can be problematic in losing some of those small parts, depending on what surface you're standing on or working on if you're, you're taking the fire control unit apart at home. But uh, you can install those triggers on your own if you'd like to, but I trust our guys to do it and that's who's done mine. <laughs> I'd go with that. I noticed some uh, interesting options for uh, hand fit and trigger reach here. Uh, the pistol with the gray guns trigger, centered in the hand, is just right if you prefer the, the placement of the pad uh, of the fingertip when shooting. For those who uh, prefer the distal joint placement, the curved trigger is just exactly right. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us about the uh, the approach that Wilson Combat took with the grip weights. So the the tungsten grip weights have been a very popular retail item for us. These go in our 320 and our 365 modules. Personally, I feel like you can see more of a difference with these installed in the, the smaller guns. The weight of the tungsten rods versus the weight of the gun ratio is much smaller than what it would be on, on a full size 320 or compact or a carry size 320. You can really feel a difference with the tungsten weights installed on these smaller guns, more so in my opinion than you, than you can on the 320. You're still adding weight to the 320s, which is a good thing if you don't have any weight restrictions for competition or anything like that. But um, really a great accessory that has sold well. Um, and, and our guys, our engineers were thinking kind of ahead of the curve on fitting our module designs, whether it was for the 320s or the 365s to both be able to accommodate these these tungsten rods. They have obviously hit a, hit a home run with the whole 365 series here. The modules have been very popular um, as a retail item and then also in these collaboration guns that we've, this project that we've done with SIG. All of those guns leave out of here with one of these modules on them. So yes, the engineers hit a home run with all sizes of the, the modules and they have great features on them that, that enhance them in, in different ways from the factory 320 or 365 modules. So hats off to those guys. Guy, which of the modules is the most popular right now? Right now? Yeah. Uh, probably going to be the XL modules, but as soon as these things hit the retail market in either size, they're probably going to... Even with being a new product, they will be out in front in short order. I have a feeling. I can see why. Guy, thanks for taking the time with us. Folks, uh, we're always interested in your commentary. Remember, it's your commentary that drives the content here at the Wilson Combat Channel. We'll see you next time.